My name is Sharon Alterman, and I am 82 years old. I was born in Detroit at Grace Hospital. My family was always very Jewish. My mother kept a kosher home, and we always celebrated the holidays together. The Jewish community is just in my DNA. It's so much a part of me. We had a delightful family. We actually lived in a four-family flat, and I thought I was living in a castle. My paternal grandparents lived on the lower left-hand side. We lived on the lower right-hand side, and my aunt lived above us. And then I realized how important family was. My mother became extremely ill, and she was hospitalized for 11 months. Everybody came together, and she endured. She had such a spirit, and I realized the strength that she had. I went to Mumford High School, which was where I learned some leadership skills. And then I stayed in Detroit and went to Wayne. And lucky for me, because that's where I met my husband. I was attracted to his maturity and his warmth and sense of humor. And so we've been married for 60 years. We have two wonderful boys, and I really wanted to spend time just as a mother. But when they were sort of maybe eight or 10 years old, like many of my friends and colleagues, we were looking for what's our next stage in life. And as women, I think we were starting to be given the opportunity to really go beyond our comfort area. I like to read. I've always been interested in history and I went back to school and got a degree in historic preservation. Later on, I became the director of Leonard and Simon's Jewish Community Archives. My husband's always been my cheerleader and my support. He would always say, go for it. For years, I was on the board of Beth Shalom Synagogue. I was on the board of the Neighborhood Project. I was co-chair of the JPM, JCC board. That's what I can think of at the moment. <laughs> we have an extraordinary community here. I've been able to get a front row seat to see what all of our agencies have done. Our kids have two magnificent daughters. They're just delightful young women. And we have a 12-year-old grandson in New Orleans. He's the apple of my eye. So my kids did well. I've been very, very blessed to have a wonderful life.